lot of veterans who are injured in combat or have things happen in their lives, they end up having sorts of uh, traumatic brain injuries or hits to the head, things that affect your ability to, to think, to sleep, to remember things, headaches, you know, things like that. And unfortunately, the government uh, does not typically cover this sort of therapy, which is really unfortunate because for the past 13 years, I've been dealing with everything right. I just said. And I served as a team leader in an infantry platoon with the U.S. Army's 10th Mountain Division in Afghanistan. And while I was there, I was inside of two vehicles that were uh, blown up and completely destroyed. The first one on April 18th of 2006, we ran over a double stack of anti-tank mines that were buried in the road and blew up my vehicle and set it on fire. I dragged one of my guys out who was catching on fire. He was partially conscious. Uh, thankfully, nobody died that day. Uh, but I did start experiencing from that day forward headaches every day, memory issues. I was forgetting little things and uh, concentration issues. And then uh, three months later on July 24th, 2006, a, a, a suicide bomber and a mini man drove his vehicle into my door of my vehicle and exploded in Kandahar. And uh, so he was literally about three feet away from me when he exploded. And that put me 14 months at Brook Army Medical Center in San Antonio, Texas. And I, I was burned second degree on my face and neck, which is healed. I was burned third degree on both of my hands. And I had to go through extremely painful burn treatment, reconstructive surgery and rehabilitation uh, for the following 14 months. I would say there's been, there have been two things that have really made a difference in helping me live a better story after all of this happening. People who have come into my life who have taught me things and taken me under their wings and helped me along getting back on my feet. And the other thing would have to be uh, literally HBOT, hyperbaric mm -hmm. oxygen therapy, because, because of the, the magnitude of the damage that was done to my brain. Mm -hmm. And since getting HBOT, hyperbaric oxygen therapy, even, even last night, it's, it, I, I fell asleep around 10 or 10.30 and I woke up at 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. feeling completely rested wow. and, and really energized. And that never happens. I typically go to bed at about two in the morning, then I it's hard to wake up, and then it throws my whole day off, and then there's stress, and then there's headaches from the stress, and right. there's just this whole it thing. It just snowballs. Yeah, and HBOT has helped heal so much of that damage um, back you know, 13, I wish 13 years ago somebody would have told me about this or that it existed or, or whatever the case. I wish I would have had access. It honestly hasn't been government programs. It's been privately funded nonprofit organizations such as these that you're referring to. Right. That makes the real difference. That has made the complete difference in my life and in my, my recovery and my ability to have a life again. Right. And so for everybody who supports organizations like this one, I just I want to say thank you. Like keep keep supporting them, you know, financially support them with your time, everything, because it, it makes a literal difference. I'm a better husband, I'm a better father, I'm a better man because I'm able to be more of myself again, That's and that awesome. makes all the difference. Thank you.